Good morning, students. As you look forward to next school year, you will need to begin to make decisions on course selection in the upcoming weeks. Mrs. Bovier will be joining me to provide you with some helpful information regarding course selection as you look ahead to sophomore year. For many of you, this will be the first time you have increased choice over your schedule. This choice will continue to grow as you move ahead to junior and senior year. And now, here is Mrs. Bovier to go over course offerings as well as the course selection process. Good morning, my name is Shelby Bovier. I'm one of the guidance counselors at the Freshman Academy. Um, each year you have a definite, you have definite requirements that you have to have in your schedule. As a sophomore, the core courses which you need in your schedule are English 2, Geometry, U.S. History 1, Biology, and Health B. We do realize that some of you may have taken um, Health A last summer, and for that reason, you will not have to have that in your schedule. You also need to have physical education or an equivalent which counts for your PE requirement. All students must have these core courses in their course request. Please ensure that you have them when you are doing your scheduling. There are many electives available at Lowell High School. Most of you will have one period to add your choice of electives of business, computer programming, culinary arts, engineering, performing arts for music, performing arts for theater, performing arts for dance, visual arts and digital media arts, and visual arts for studio arts. If, you already, if you've already chosen a pathway, choosing an elective within your pathway of choice is recommended. For example, if you are interested in a career in engineering, you may want to choose intro to engineering as your elective choice for next year. Along with your choice of elective, if you are already enrolled in a world language or are thinking of starting one, you will have room in your schedule for your world language choices as well. We offer French, Khmer, Portuguese, Spanish, and Latin. Keep in mind that if you are considering a four-year college, you will need at least two years of the same world language. Above is a sample seven period breakdown of what your schedule could look like potentially for sophomore year for each semester. Please make sure when entering your course requests that you have a minimum of seven classes requested for next year, including accepting your teacher recommendation for your classes. All right, hi everyone, I'm Ms. Rothschild. I am here today and uh, so thankful that I am joined by Donna, one of our current freshmen. She has graciously offered to assist us in walking you through the course selection process. So Donna, if you don't mind sharing screen, we can take students through what they'll see as they um, engage in the course selection process and they start to choose their classes. So Donna, these are this is the student request, right? So these are the instructions. Yeah, so these were emailed out to all students uh, last week. You should have them in your email again this week. They're also posted in your advisory Google Classrooms, but should you need them, uh, please reach out to me or your guidance counselor and we'll be happy to send them again. Um, but Donna, why don't you walk us through these and what you see on your end if you're logged on to the Aspen portal. This is the homepage, right? This is where you normally end up when you log in. And so you click on this little tab called My Info and then you go to request. And then there's this little button that you actually see when you go into my info, you'll click on it. it's called entry mode. And here is where you can select the courses for each class that you want to take next year. Uh, for example, let's go to US history. And this is already checked off, which means it has been recommended by your teacher. But you can also put ones that you want and then you can take them off. And when you're done, you can just click OK. And it gets updated and they will be saved right there for you to go back. Um, and if you could go back, can you just click on that English tab again for me to select? Here. OK. So as Donna mentioned, uh, you do have the, uh, she has high honors English two recommended. That was the teacher recommendation. So all she had to do was click on that OK button and accept. 
you should be going with what the teacher recommendation is, okay? So in all of your classes where there's that little box that's already checked, all you need to do is really click on okay and it'll give you what is recommended. All right, so John, if you wanna continue, why don't you, you've done English, you've done social studies, uh, let's check out math and science. All right, for math here, as you can see, the teacher recommended me for uh, high honor geometry and analytics and then high honor algebra two and trigonometry. So I am taking two math classes and here all you have to do is just click okay. Like Ms. Rothschild said, you should be going with what your teacher recommends. Okay. And, then we and have I will science. say Donna that not all students will be taking two math classes uh, next year. Um, yes. So again, you wanna really pay attention to what has been recommended. Okay. All right, and, and I see you've already have... gone on to science. Yeah, um, biology, honor biology. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that is about it. All right. What about your electives, Donna? I'm going to be taking RTC next year. You are. Okay. So let's, why don't we scroll down and see if that is an option because you need to make sure that we do include that. All right. Okay. So select. Um, okay. How do you select this one? Okay. So there's nothing in there for you. Let me try clicking OK. Let's see. Yeah, so see, that doesn't work. All right, so you're going to need someone to actually go in there and make that recommendation for you. Yeah, so this is where you would probably have to contact your guidance counselor and talk to them about the course you want to take next year. OK. So what you could do, Donna, is you could go down there in the notes for a counselor. All right, and you could type in, I'd like to take ROTC. I would. So we were able to add your note about ROTC and actually add that in the field above. Um, so the last class that we're going to look at is your world language. So why don't you go ahead and select that and then we'll post. Uh, I'm currently taking Spanish. So let's try taking honor Spanish. Yep. So there is one recommended for you there. See that? Oh, go below. Oh, yeah. Yep, so you want to get rid of that one. Click OK. All right, so you have all of your course requests in. So let's go back to the instruction sheet because now you've scheduled yourself for a full seven period, right? Mm -hmm. You've done the entry mode. You've made your request. What's the next step? And then basically when you're all done, you just have to click post. Okay, so let's go back. You have a full schedule, so let's see if it'll let you post that. All right. All right, so request uh, successfully posted. So Adana is now scheduled all of her classes for a full day, okay? So she is set to take um, a full course load of credits next year. And Donna, when you go into request, do you get a, if you scroll down just so people can see? All right, so everything is there, all right? And it's already been posted for you. Um, and that'll help you when you are reviewing your course request for next year with your guidance counselor. All right, Donna, was that pretty easy? Yeah, it was pretty easy. Okay. All right. So just follow along with the requests that have been made by your classroom teachers. And if you have any questions or you need assistance, please make sure that you're checking in with your advisory teacher, your seminar teacher, or your guidance counselor. The counselors will be on hand this week and next week as we engage in the course selection process. So you can stop in during lunch, you can check in during seminar, um, or you can always reach them by email. All right, so we wish you luck. And again, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Lala Brennan, Student Support Specialist at the Freshman Academy. We have reached the halfway point of quarter three and I wanna remind you of a few key points. Attendance matters. You should be on time every day and attending all of your classes. Advisory starts at 7.55. If you are late, you need to check in at the Virtual Charity Center. Any student with an AF or NC on their quarter two report card need to meet with either me or Mrs. Rothschild. You only need to email one of us to schedule a meeting time. If you have failed a class from semester one, there will be credit recovery opportunities over the summer. Stay tuned for more details. 
The impossible is possible. It is not too late to turn things around if you are off track. You have supports in place to help you achieve your goals and be successful. Take advantage of wind time, academic management days and freshman seminar, and after school tutoring. Stay focused, stay motivated, and continue to work hard. Sophomore year is right around the corner. Have fun selecting your courses for next year.